Hi you guys, how are you? I'm Christine, psychologist and coach. And in this video, I want to do uh, a content about uh, seven warning signs when you're in the early dating stages. And actually, uh, I made this uh, <laughs> promise with my friend that is editing the videos that I'm going to do one video a week. Uh, but now she is like traveling, so maybe this is going to be a uh, very unfiltered, uncut, everything, no fancy, like follow me there, like logo, whatever. So yeah, it's going to be very raw, <laughs> unless she has time to do something with this that I, I am not sure of. So anyway, number one, I want to tell you, uh, I'll talk a little bit about this, is when they cancel your plans, like that you had together, and they don't reschedule. I think this is a really interesting one, because... Maybe you had some plans and of course things can come up like, you know, people get sick and they fell on their bikes or <laughs> whatever can happen. But if they don't do a reschedule, I think that's like, okay, is the person not interested enough or you know, they're not making you a priority or why is there like no reschedule? I mean, I, I would like consider that a little bit. And I noticed it with myself too when I was uh, semi-dating this one guy and there was never like a reschedule when he was like, yeah, I'm too tired or whatever. And afterwards, I could see like, okay, I was clearly not a priority <laughs> in his life, and that's fine. But I should have noticed that like in early stages. Okay. And number two is like always the busy part. Okay, we are all busy. I mean, I'm busy. My cousin is busy. Your grandma is busy. Like everyone is busy. But if it's like a ma like a major complaint and a major issue that the person can never see you because. They're always so busy. I would think that's like a sign of maybe that the other person has something else going on in their life, like maybe some other person they're talking to, or they're not that interested. So I would consider that as a warning sign as well. And I wrote also love bombing. I witnessed this a lot with especially a couple of my friends that are really active in the dating. When the guy is like talking about that he wants to move in with you, he wants to spend Christmas with you, and you only met him for a week or two. I mean, wouldn't he be saying that also to another person as well? Because how well do you know a person within like one or two weeks? So I would consider that like a little bit warning sign. Uh, and I would also think like, okay, I wouldn't feel that special because if he is treating or she treating you in that way in the early stages, then uh, there's probably a little bit of uh, dependent personality structure or something that has to do with them, that they get very needy of you or other person. So I would consider that. I mean, it's flattering and everything that the person is so interested in you and maybe you need that sometimes, but I think uh, you should also think about and consider like that this person is probably going to treat another person the same. So, yeah. And then I wrote... Number four is when the person you're dating is rude to a, another person in a service role. And and my cousin was actually telling me an example about this. He had been riding with this guy. He was a doctor and he was moving from Norway to Iceland. And then uh, they finally met after been like talking for a long time. They had a really nice night and like everything was fine. And then <laughs> he takes like a flip with a taxi driver because the taxi driver uh, driver sorry wrote a little like wrote no sorry uh, yeah he drove a little bit further than he was supposed to go with a guy and he just snapped and my cousin was just like what the what just happened and i'm thinking like of course you're at your best behavior when you're like dating somebody but like when you're showing this side of you so early that you have anger issues and to a person like like a taxi driver. I mean, what is that? And, and how is he going to treat her after, like, they've been dating for some time? I mean, if she would accidentally do something inappropriate, well, that wasn't even, like, inappropriate, but something, I mean, what is the treatment going to be towards her? I would think, like, yeah. I would, I would be a little bit concerned about that. And then number five, I wrote, when he doesn't or she doesn't respect your boundaries or even like choices and it doesn't have to be in a sexual way or anything it can also be like smaller things like my friend told me that she was on the stage with this guy and they went for an ice cream and then she really wanted this rocket ice cream because she was trying to reduce milk products because so you get can get acne because of that and then he was like no you're not getting the rocket ice cream you're getting the magnum 
And she was like, uh, but I, I don't want the Magnum. And he was like, no, you're getting the Magnum. And then he just like ordered the Magnum ice cream. And she was like, so confused. Like, oh my God, I can't even like have the ice cream I want. Like, what what is this? And then she was there with the Magnum ice cream, probably like covered in acne the next day. But that's another story. Thank God she didn't have like intolerance. Because she had like a diarrhea because of it. Like, oh my God. Like, anyway, and then they went to a cafe after that. And she ordered a Coca-Cola and uh, like a small one and he was like no no you're getting the biggest one and then he <laughs> the way he came with a 750 milliliters of coca-cola and she's like oh my god what is this am i like in the biggest loser like are gonna be like uh, uh, like so confused and then it was like so awkward because he had been making these choices for her <laughs> oh my god this is so stupid when i say it out loud and then she just wanted to leave and then he was like but you didn't even finish the coca-cola and she's like well, I'm kind of full, and who can drink like a 750 milliliters of Coca-Cola? I mean, it's like absurd. And I was thinking, what if they went to an Italian restaurant and she wanted to order a spaghetti, and he'll be like, no, you're getting the family size lasagna. I mean, where does this end? And in so early, they met for the first time. She can't even like make her own food choices. I mean, yeah. Well, I, I thought it was a little bit weird, but it's also like a cultural thing maybe that he really wanted to show her that he has some money and he can pay. For, okay, this sounds even more stupid. Okay, like drop this. I would think this is like weird if it's like in the early beginning, then how is it going to escalate like later on? I mean, what is he going to try to control like later on or see? Was he in this uh, example? But like, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, I put a poll on my Instagram uh, what people would think like, was like a red flag. And there were so many people that said like, when you talk bad about your ex. And I thought about that. I think uh, that, it, yeah, it has a point to it because if you're to talking so badly about a person that you spend so much time with, then how is that person going to talk about you if you don't, like, uh, have a relationship uh, for long term or, or you, like, stop seeing each other? I mean, how, how, how are you going to be treated with that person? So I would think that and also, maybe that person hasn't dealt with a breakup because I found myself like in that pit hole like a uh, hundred years ago. Yes, I'm actually 150 now. Just kidding. Um, that I was talking not so nicely about my ex at that time, but when I think back on it, I hadn't really like dealt with a breakup, and I was uh, yeah, I, I I hadn't really like worked on that. So that was that can also be an indicator that the person hasn't really like done some healing or yeah. And then the last one I say is like jealousy because that's like a combination of an anxiety and fear and anger and insecurities mostly. So, I mean, it's cute if the person is like a little bit jealous in the beginning, of course, like he's, he or she is showing a, a lot of interest. But if it's like starting to have like a negative effect on your relationship, I would say that is like a, a warning sign because how is it also going to be when you're a couple? I mean, it's only going to be like worse than. So I will consider that uh, as a warning sign as well. So I'm not going to have this longer for now because uh, I don't know how this is going to be. It's going to be very raw and everything without my editor. So I hope this was beneficial for you. Please make a comment if you want me to talk about something specific uh, about psychology because I only want to talk about things that uh, have, have to do with our mental and physical health. And I hope this was, yeah, uh, of any use.